wetted moment between Kurula and Shongile. And I wonder if Hosan is going to go up and join them. He was faffing about, but look at that. Isn't that beautiful? And this is probably one, I think, it's one of the most beautiful things out here, is to see a silhouetted cat. And there's very few opportunities for you to get a shot like that, too. They need to be up in a tree or on a termite mound or at least a big plane with the sun behind it. And then, of course, it would be great if it was crested, if it was slightly elevated, and you can get the most glorious shots. But that, unfortunately, does not happen all of the time out here. And the young Shongile is making her way back towards her brother, who is lying in the grass, waiting for her next move. There he is. And she's just pretending like she hasn't seen him, but I'm pretty sure that Shongile knows her brother is sitting there. Is he going to pounce on her? We'll have to wait and see. Nico, you've just asked if <clears throat> how much or how often, sorry, do leopards need to drink a day? So typically they'll drink once a day, but it's not necessary, especially if they are feeding. The big cats do get a lot of their, their water from the animals that they're feeding on, so from the blood of the animals. But they will come and drink, especially if it's a hot day. It's refreshing. It's nice to have them come and drink. And then after they've gorged themselves, having a sip of water can often help aid in digestion. You can imagine with the amount of food that they push into their stomachs, I'm sure that they must get a couple of tummy aches every now and then. And I think that having a big glass of water sort of just helps subside that, that overwhelming feeling of fullness. And then, of course, they go straight into a coma and sleep for a good couple of hours. But not now. They're actually being wonderful at the moment, though I wish Karula would leave her little ones and go and find something for them to eat in Parla, because there is no shortage of animals around at the moment. There are in Parla, you heard all the Inyala alarming. But like I said, unless there was a little, a little one there, a little Inyala, it's a bit too big for her. She could take down a you, a, a female. I think with everybody being there, too many eyes, too many ears, that bullet spotted her. And I think she knew that she had no chance and there was no point wasting an attempt on a, on a group of animals that knows she was there. But she might wait for them to settle down again. Eventually those Inyala will become a little bit complacent and they might start to relax and, and forget that the leopards were just around here. And she could probably go back, pick up on their scent and, and give it another bash. That wouldn't surprise me at all. That is stunning. Isn't that just gorgeous? We are so lucky to be able to do this every single day. This is genuinely, it's unbelievable. You know, sometimes it's hard to get up in the morning. You think, oh, four o'clock, my goodness. And then you wake up, you go out and you see something like this and you're just completely rewarded. Last station, go again. I'm just chatting on the game drive radio. A negative, I haven't called anything in on the Eastern Channel. I'm sitting with Karula and her cubs. We're just between Wahlbergs and Twin Dams, uh, east, east of that junction. Right, so I'm just chatting, Andrews, please make your approach, I'm going to go off air, but you'll see my tracks from Wahlberg's Road going east. There we go, just had a quick calling Andrew into the sighting. He's also going to be making his way here. Osana, are you exhausted now? Look at him. After all of that, oh no, 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 that was short-lived. <laughs> His attention span is so small. Now, we've been chatting quite a bit, obviously, over the last few weeks, actually the last few months, as to who is going to leave first. And, and we all suspect that it's going to be Sean Gile. Now, Carrie, you've asked, when, at what age do leopard cubs first give birth? So, Sean Gile will probably leave. How old is she now? She's just over a year. Might, might be a little bit longer. But by the time she gets to about, and this depends, this gives or take, because every leopard is slightly different. But by the time she gets to two and a half, three years old, she's probably coming into estrus for the first time. It gives or take. Every animal is slightly different, as we are humans, as we vary from one to one. But that's about the time. Whether she will take the first time mating, 
might not be the case. It could take a couple of times. It might be even a little bit later than that. But I hope that she does stick around here. And I'm always just thinking, where, I wonder where Karula is going to open up a space for her. Because that's what the female leopards do. Is they tend to push other leopards away, other females, move them out so that they can make room for their daughters. And that's what Karula's done here. She's done that with Shadow, who is just sort of uh, west of where Karula's territory is. Then we've got Tandi, who is further southeast of her. But now where, where on earth? Is Shongile going to go? Maybe Karula decides she's also going to push further. There's actually, I don't know how many females are in north of us, Buffalo's Hook. So maybe Shongile decides to hang around in the, the northern sectors. We'll see where she decides to go. Obviously, we can only speculate, and she'll have to find her footing. She'll have probably a lot of run ins, I think, with quite a few different leopards before she finds her place. But eventually, she'll get there. But she's still got a bit of growing to do. She's a little girl.